guys, this is Agus Bacon and Josh, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. So we left off, we just got to the first bonfire in the Catacombs of Carthus. Uh, we had a little bit of some trouble. A lot of trouble, did not like it at all. So we're gonna just follow this bad boy out here. And try to beat him out before he gets back. Ah, oh, damn it. Almost got to it, almost, but... It's all good in the hood, we're just gonna kill this rat though. Mm-hmm. These rats try to defend their big rat, but it's not gonna work. We're too dank for this dude, we're too good. Alright, so these things will just fall if you run it if you run it underneath them. As you see. This one fell, but the one I'm trying to like guide isn't this gives zero shits. Literally gives zero shits. Okay, so if they're having problems uh, falling, I guess just um, hit with an arrow or like a pyramid or something, and then they'll fall over. Bruh. Really not liking these things not falling. Ouchies. So. Unlike in uh, Dark Souls, these guys are not too difficult to kill. Because uh, they don't uh, like chain you anymore. If Once they hit you, they'll they hit you a couple times, but like they won't continuously wheel into you and murder your soul. Dude. They'll fall over and then you'll have a chance to survive. So, really glad that they made that adjustment to this AI. So this mod. Alright, let's uh... Ah! So I don't understand why some of these slimes uh, don't fall over, like fall down whenever you run next to them. But the Karthus Blood Ring uh, boost. Uh, so you get more AI frames, but you take more damage. So I rock with the uh, the white the white ones though because it gives you the uh, the disappeary disappeary roll. Alright, fall. Thank you. And so we got. Oh. Hello. Didn't realize I made some of these guys fall too. Alright, this is good. Make him fall. And quickly roll, just in case. Yep. I knew it was too good to be true. There had to be a. There had to be a slime. Okay. So our next objective is we're going to be Embered. Yep. There's an NPC that we're going to try to kill. We're just going to run this way. Grab an Ember. Look out here. And then as soon as we run back up, we should be getting invaded. Yep. Night Slayer Sorig. Who is a Tarkus, Iron Tark, Tarkus dude. With the Fume Ultra Great Sword. So you can't block it. Heads up, can't block this sword. But we don't we don't need to block. We're too good. We don't need to block, we just need to heal. <laughs> right. Whoop, whoop, uh, not today. Ouch! Okay. You can actually kill his um his his normal like self uh later on in the next area. Which we'll be getting to very shortly after we progress through this area some more. I don't believe uh, this Iron Tarkus heals, so that's good. I don't believe he heals. Okay, let's uh. Oh! Just because he doesn't heal doesn't mean we won't. We're gonna heal. And we're gonna- Ah! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we're wasting all of our SS on this one NPC Phantom. Oh man, I thought, I, I thought for sure we'd get the backstab right there. I'm honestly surprised we didn't stun knock him there. Whoop! Alright, here we go. Here's the lock. Here's the lock. 
Uh uh girl, not today. Come on. Come on, nice air sword. Oh god. Yes. I was meant to do be a kick. Oh, okay. Woo! That was close. Come on. We just need like one hit. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Okay, so uh, what that gives us is it gave us a gesture and my my thanks gave us the my thanks gesture right here and it might have given us a ring too if oh yeah it gave us the night slayers ring which enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks so that's that's pretty useful so now we're gonna progress <laughs> yeah, this part's not my favorite part it's not we're gonna kill uh sorcery dude and we're gonna kill off these guys if, if we can like if possible cause whew. oh god roll 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 just oh no I'm so underprepared for this place right now cause I don't have a uh, Estus I don't have a lot of Estus left I have one one Estus Dude, why didn't he not lock on? Like, I hit the lock on button. Okay. Well, we're gonna heal up because we need to. And I'm actually thankful that we have this chime on right now because if I would have switched to pyromancies, we would not have been able to do something like that and at least get some of our health. So, really happy that I actually did that. And maybe we could try to hit them right there. We can. Okay, that's cool. And get some more Karthus Rage. Just try to hit him again. We can't. Can we kill them? That's the real question. Dude, yeah, I think we can. Let's let's do this. Ah, he's just out of range. So this guy will either drop Karthus Rage or Titanite Shards, so... Pretty cool that we got some Titanite Shards. You! It looks like this guy's glowing eyes, so... I think he might... Be coming back to life after we wreck him. What the heck was that? Yep, he's going back to life. Okay, come on. Let's get some free hits off. Uh. Come on now. What you got? You got nothing. Kukri's awesome. I believe that is going to be the end of those enemies. There's also Grave Warden Ashes that we can use to give to the Handmaiden in exchange for, um, in exchange for <laughs> her to sell new items. So we're just going to run back up to the bonfire because we're running out of Estus. We were out of Estus, actually. And we're not we're not doing too hot. We're not. So what does it take to level up? I think we might yeah, we're gonna go back to the shrine and uh, level up everything and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back here and the ball guy yeah, does spawn back, but that's okay because we don't really need to deal with him. Don't really need to. We'll just let him do his thing. We'll let him do his thing and uh we will then progress on and actually we'll go fight the boss in this episode because the boss um i don't want to jinx anything but he's not too difficult uh, he's kind of he's a little gimmicky as i've been saying a lot of the bosses are com somewhat gimmicky but this guy isn't really too bad at all so we're just gonna make our way over there as we kill this dude bruh <laughs> just die if we don't actually uh, fight the boss in this episode, we will uh, get to a different bonfire, actually. Uh, which is just under here, and I don't know why, but they just can go through that wall right there. So that's cool. We still get our item, though. That's what matters. I don't really know why there's this one uh, like curved sword skeleton. 
right here. I'm not quite certain, but he's not really difficult. As you can see, he just gets backstabbed and he's dead. So, yay. Uh, he did drop his Karthus Curse for even though it's just a rare drop from them anyways. And right here, we're going to go ahead and pull the lever. Pull it. Open the gate. Grab the item. Wait for the skeletons to come alive. And wreck them. Take some black bug pellets. And a scimitar. That's pretty cool. Dropped a scimitar for me. Awesome. Then we're going to come up this way. Just in a sec, we are not going across that bridge. We can if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're going to talk to Henri here. Ah, oh, hello. Have you seen Horace? Oh, yes, I searched Oh, Horace, have you Oh, Horace, you Yeah, so Horace still is not here. So what we're going to do is fall down to here. And if you look down there... If you look right down there, you see there's a guy standing. I don't believe we have binoculars equipped. We don't. Let's go ahead and equip binoculars. It's not really going to improve our vision too much. Actually, it kind of ruined it because we couldn't see anything. That NPC down there is actually Horace the Hushed. He's waiting for us to get down there and actually fight him. And how we do that is we break down this bridge. Which I think we're going to do because I don't know if uh, progressing through the boss actually ruins the quest line, so we're going to go ahead and do this. So you just smack the bridge. Smack it. And eventually it'll cut down, which is pretty cool. And once the bridge is done, like rattling, you can actually descend. And I don't know how really how you slide down. I guess you can grab the rope, but it's that doesn't seem like it's gonna be doing too well for you. And then from here, we're going to run over here. We're gonna avoid the fire demon right now. Actually, we know we need to we need to aggro him and bring him up here so we can run by him. Come on, big boy. Alright, thank you. What we're gonna do is run over here and smack this mimic. And roll off the cliff. Because the mimic should aggro to the fire demon and then kill the fire demon for us. So we're gonna let those guys duke it out while we get rid of the skeletons. The mimic should actually kill the fire demon. So that's a pretty cool little tactic you guys didn't know how to do that. So you could fight them legitimately, or you could just aggro Mimic and have Mimic kill him. Which, Mimic is about to kill him very soon. Okay, cool. Now we can deal with Mimic. Get ourselves all of a Fire Demon. Which gives us a pretty cool weapon. Oh, that was close. Almost got eaten, dude. They make it so easy, because you just literally run around them and they, 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 they uh, do nothing. Oh, we get the black blade. Oh, I was really hoping we'd get ourselves a symbol of avarice. I don't think we have a symbol of avarice. Just no we don't. Bit of a shame. I'd really like to have one. Ouch. Alright, let's just kill off Skeletors one at a time here, and we'll work our way over to Horus. We're gonna, we're gonna try to kill him this episode. Or, oopsies. We're gonna try to uh, fight him this episode, and then do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nope. Stop chasing me. Stop it! Skeletons are so annoying. They're not hard at all. Like, if you see here, they're really not difficult. They're still 
a little bit of a nuisance. Right, let's let's kill this guy, please. Thank you. Now we can focus on the one, two life skeletor left. Go ahead. And, it's the binoculars. We don't need binoculars to heal. Yes, the heal. And that, I believe, should be the end. We're not going to kill that last one because we don't need to. So we're just going to we're just going to run on through. Come over here and grab the old sage's blindfold and the witch's ring. And we're just going to run in here, grab this awesome little bonfire. We're going to rest up because we need it. We need the rest. We need the healing. We need the health. Then we're just going to run down here. And we're actually going to be in Lost Isolith from uh, Dark Souls 1. Although, however, it is called the Smoldering Lake. And what this place is, is a lot of pain. Because there's a giant avalanche launching arrows at you. We are going to try to not get hit by arrows because these things are painful. And Oh, roll, roll, roll. And once you're in here, you should be safe. From the arrows, that is. There are a bunch of uh, lizards here. So kill them if you want to get the Titan Knights, the specials. And then in here, in this opening, we'll find Horus the Hushed, who is now an aggroed P, uh, AI, and we will try to kill you. Okay. So, once you find Horus in here, he's going to aggro to you, and he's going to try to kill you. The fight itself isn't really too hard. He can hit pretty hard, and he can parry too, so be somewhat careful about what you do, because Horus the Hush will make you quiet. Try to be... I tried to put a little pun in there. Didn't really work, if you guys can tell. Ah, cheese. Whoop! Ow! No! Bad Horus, stop! We were friends. You gave me the blue! You gave me the blue Sentinels Covenant, and now I have to kill you. Uh, sh this dude, this dude who died here, did this on purpose. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Pillage, pillage remains. There we go. Not even worth it, dude. It's not even worth it. We get the lay well and shield, which is pretty useful. Titanite shard, and then another large titanite shard. So that is the end of that. Now we have to go find Henri. We have to go back to Henri and talk to her. I'm actually going to look something up. Actually, I'm not going to look something up right now. This is going to have to be the end of this episode. I'm going to homeward bone back to the Shrine Bomb. So, uh, in light of what's happened, we've done quite a bit of things. We are actually... I don't know if we have enough large type mech shards to... Oh, we do. We're going to go upgrade our Dark Soul one more time. And actually, we're going to end the episode here because... We've done a lot. We've progressed enough to get to the boss, which is in incredible. And we've actually progressed through honorings of a store or quest line. And I think now... We might be able to use the Dark Sword. Still not good enough. We're almost there, though. We're getting to it. We're getting to where we can use the Dark Sword over the Fire Broadsword plus three or four. So I'm really looking forward to using the, the Dark Sword. It's one of the best weapons in the game. It's so good. Alright, well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe on the fun stuff. If you haven't already, remember it's all free. It only takes about a second for each of the things to be done. I've been getting a lot of support recently. That's. Thank you guys so much for that. It really makes me feel happy. And I just, it's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see all of y'all in the next video. Until then, peace.